Now, I've got a piece of acrylic here that's approximately the same width as this splash shower door. So I want to use it instead of the door because um, I can't move this piece of glass around very easily, but I, I can drag this any place I want. And it works basically the same exact way. So the first thing I've done is I've decided on what end that I want. It's going to fit on the door on the glass like this. I've already marked it with my thumb here on this end. I've marked it right there. I want to show you how this is going to work if there's a wall right here. So I've marked it. Otherwise, it could be cut off, but I wouldn't. I would take it down to extend beyond where the tub or the curve is going to be. But the first thing that has to be done is this is the end that we're concerned with and getting it started. On my other video, I was showing how you can't just pick this red film layer to get it started. So if I take the point of a sharp blade, and that's what I use to get it started. Can you see that? That's what I use to get it started. Take some uh, masking tape. You can use any kind of tape that's removable. And I'm going to place it in a couple of spots along the drip rail, just so it'll hold it in place. doesn't really matter how precise it is. I've got this liner already started over here on this end. We're after roughly an inch and a half, two inches up, and we'll make this even with the edge. On this end, about three quarters of an inch off the bottom. So if you were to look at it, this is the way it would look. Here it is pretty much level. Now, if you've got some of those other little attachments down here at the bottom, it won't interfere with them. And this naturally, in your own installation, it's going to be slightly different. I just want to show you how to get this on. I've already started pulling the liner, so all I have to do is flip that up, and I can grab the end of this and start pulling it. I can start pressing this end down and just continue to pull this out. Can you see it? I'm pulling it out and pressing it down. Pulling it out and pressing it down. Pulling it out and pressing it down. Now, when I get down down to here, I'm beyond my I'm beyond my glazing, right? Here I've got the liner hanging off and I've got a lot of adhesive still left on there. Now I'm not sure how I'm gonna with it. I, I could just right now open this up and cut it and then trim this off to a degree or just leave it. We can peel off these couple pieces of masking tape we've used. What I would do, if there were a wall here, I'm just going to fold the, the lip of that down and then I'm going to just make a straight cut. And I'm going to cut it straight up. I want it to end up about a quarter of an inch away from the end of the glass. So there, it's it's cut, but it didn't go all the way. So all I'm going to do is bend this back a little bit. All I'm going to do is bend it away a little bit, and you'll see it breaks right to the end, and that's all I want. Now, the bottom piece, or this piece where the wall would normally be, is going to go under. So that's the way that's going to be. But first, now that I've gotten the point that we want, I'm going to cut a little bit more of that, and this time I'm going to cut it at an angle. See that right there? Come on. Cut it at an angle like that. Now let's see. It's a little bit more, but we're going to cut this side as well. And we'll judge how, how far this is going to have to be in a few minutes. This might be enough. There. Now then, this is too long, but we can cut this off just as easily and whenever we like.